Okay, tinkerers, today we're going to build ourselves a medal. That might sound simple at first, and the basics of it are really simple, but then hopefully with your great ideas, you're going to extend your medal to make it absolutely fantastic. But first off, we need to get the basic shapes of a medal and get the basic base plate. So what does a medal look like? We should all know what a medal lo looks like. We've got this outer rim, a base plate, and then obviously something to attach it to a nice ribbon. So how are we going to do that? First off, and to grab my cylinder that's going to be my base plate for my metal and then if i go down what have i got down here aha i've got a nice tube and i'm going to use this for my rim thing is they are the wrong shape and size but what i want to do is bring them together so i'm going to align them align them both directions so nice on top of each other and then i just need to shrink down my base plate and let's bring all the way down that i could do it by freehand or i could bring it just type in a number, I think I'll have it a nice base plate of five. It's looking a bit small at the moment, so let's grab them both and let's extend them outwards. I could do this freehand or I could just type in, I'm going to have it nice 50 by 50. Here we go. How's that looking? Well, I think my walls are a bit thicker around the outside, so let's just click on my rim. And then it has up here the radius, the wall thickness, so I want my wall thickness at the moment. It is 2.5. Let's just take it right down to 1 to make a nice thin wall. There we go. That is looking pretty good. Now, how am I going to get a piece of ribbon to attach to my metal? So let's bring in another tube. So I'm going to use this and put this on top. So I'm trying to try and put it in the right place. If I can't get it in the right place, I could select it all and then just align it. I don't want to align it both directions. I just want to align it in the middle so it's nicely above my metal. Thing is, my tube goes all the way in and sticks on the inside of my metal. I don't want that to happen. So what I can do is just take this base plate, because that's the right size, and that's a bit I want to cut off. I could duplicate that. Remember, nothing happens, but what's actually happened is two pieces have appeared. And one of those pieces, this piece, I'm going to turn into a hole. I'm going to extend it upwards so it covers up my tube. And then all I need to do is hold shift, select both parts, a bit I want to cut off, a bit, well, bit I'm cutting off, group them together, and then it's going to take off my bit that's covering up my base plate. And there you go, I've got my part for the ribbon. And it's looking good. There's my basic parts, my basic shapes of a medal. So what do I want to do now? Well, let's have some words on my medal. Let's go down, I've got some text. Here you go, let's grab that. What am I going to have on my text today? Let's take it. Let's have NASA. I want to shoot for the moon today. I could change a font if I don't like that font. Let's have a nice sans font. And then I can just and shrink it down. Put it onto my metal. I'll just see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, shrink it down a little bit more. Get it looking right. Oops, Daisy, if I make a mistake, just go back to undo. Get my metal, there we go. I could twist it slightly so it's a nice little cool kind of arrows. If I want to adjust it slightly, I can use my arrow keys. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I can always adjust the height of it just by clicking on that, and it's 10 already. And I know my base plate's five, so it's sticking out a nice little five at the moment, and that's, I'm happy with that. So what else could I have? I could have a nice little cool picture. Now what I do know it exists is a nice little rocket to go with my NASA. So away from basic shapes into shape library. And, not, and in shape library I can look at design starters. And if I go down go looking for it, there should be a nice astro charm. Bring that on. Here's my astro charm. I want to rotate it so it looks like it's shooting off for NASA. Going up and then let's have a look how thick this is. It's 2.5. Now I know my base plate is 5. I know my lettering is 10. So let's bring it up to the size of my lettering, 10. There you go. And let's put that on. Shrink that down slightly so it fits nicely. There you go. I, oops, a daisy. There you go. Just move that across slightly. And there you have it. There is my NASA medal. How fantastic. That is nice and simple. In part two, we're going to hopefully start to look at how we're going to replace different parts of this medal and really push our skills on with Tinkercad. Look forward to seeing what you produce in part two.